In this movie, we're going to talk about modifying fields, both user and database fields. I would also like to reiterate at this point that when I talk about modifying the fields, I'm talking about how they display on the report, but not how they're stored in your actual database. In this effort, we have two main methods. One we've already learned. The first one you should recognize is manually. The user can add descriptions, text, combine fields using the formula editor. The upsides of this is that it's good for constant and or consistent values for strings, numbers, and dates. It's quick and easy. The downside is it's not very flexible for rule changes or exceptions and the maintenance time. Every time something changes you have to manually update all of your formulas. The second method is conditional. In this case we can do everything we do manually with an extra bonus. We can add descriptions, text, combine fields, but in this case, it's good for inconsistent values for strings, numbers, and dates. It's also fairly quick and easy. The downside is, though, it is more complicated and it can get out of control, and is definitely not a substitute for proper data entry. In the report writing world, it is a common occurrence that the tail wags the dog, meaning if you're the messenger, you're going to get shot. There are a few things that Crystal will allow you to do to help you correct the display of data, but not necessarily fix the core database itself. Now when I say it's not a substitute for proper data entry, sometimes these conditionals can get way out of control. Let's get into it. The conditional in this case is the if-then statement. It's good for all basic field types, strings, dates, and numbers, and it's simple and logical. Going to report 3, which is our formula report, if you will, that's where we work through all these different formulas, we're going to explore our if-then statements. We're going to start off with a simple formula. Going straight to the formula editor, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my screen so I can see what fields are available to me. It starts off simply like this. If I'm going to choose the site field equals 10, then Notice that my keywords of this formula are highlighted in blue, while everything else, being a field or the data I wish it to display, that's the stuff between quotes, is in black. This helps you identify the syntax and recognize what is a formula and what is not. This is a real basic if-then statement, saying I'm going to look at the revenue transaction site field, and if equals 10, then I'm going to call it San Antonio. Otherwise, everything else, if it's not 10, will be everyone else. Let's go ahead and save and close. Notice we have an error. Let's go ahead and press no. And I'm going to scoot this error down. It's highlighting 10 and saying a string is required here. If I'm dealing with a string, I must use quotes. Press OK. In this case, this is the basic rule. If I invoke a string by calling up if revenue transaction site, then when I put the equal sign, that also must be a string. If I check it again by using the check button, it now finds no errors. Let's go ahead and save and close. I'm going to scroll over here, try and find some room. I think I found some right there. I'm going to go ahead and click and hold down on my if-then sample and drag it over here. Notice the box and position it where I want it to go. In the first case, I get a whole bunch of San Antonio. As I scroll along, of course, Go to the last of the page, I get everyone else. I can also edit this like so. If the revenue transaction site equals 12, Also, this is what's known as a compound if-then statement because I'm having more than just a single value. I'm going to define the cases for San Antonio and Colorado and then default everyone else to an everyone else description. Now I'm going to save and close. Now if I look for Colorado, I'm not actually going to find it. 
This is the one thing about the if-then statement is, as long as the syntax is correct, it'll let you put the formula down. But if it can't find a site 12, then it just defaults to the cases it can find. In the following movies, we're going to explore how to use the if-then with the different types of fields more in detail.